Okay, it's cold here in Texas today, and I'm off to the Home Depot to buy me a new appliance. It is the most important appliance at the Olive Garden restaurant, a new microwave. And it's so cold, I put on my uh, my skiing cap here from Breckenridge. I haven't been skiing in a long time. That's just been probably almost 10 years ago now. Maybe even longer. Sometime in the odds. Anyway, I went to Purgatory last year, but I didn't go skiing because I only had a half a day and it wasn't uh, wasn't worth it. But uh, last time I went to the actual resorts was I don't know, oh seven oh eight probably, and it was uh, very uh, very nice up there during spring break. Went to Keystone, Breaking Ridge, that area. Um, I've been watching the Eric Farmer video, so if you get a chance, check out the Eric Farmer video. He's up there. He's a lift operator at uh, El Doro, which is close to, uh, real close to Denver. You don't have to get on 70 or nothing for that. All right, let's get a new uh, microwave. Now, don't get me wrong here. I respect the handicap, and I understand they need to park up close. One of my pet peeves is when you go to a location and they have, like, 40 handicaps parking spot and nobody parked in any of them now i'm at the home depot uh, how many handicapped people are going to be in there buying building supplies to build this shit i mean do they need 40 handicapped spot i don't think so you see what i'm talking about here there's so many handicapped spot we have one being used at all these parking lot full of handicapped spot why would somebody leave a Dorito in the basket? In the damn Home Depot. Okay, so the Home Depot did good for me. They, uh, I ordered the microwave yesterday online. Paid for it online. It's supposed to pull it and have it ready uh, by yesterday afternoon. Ooh, it's cold out there. Anyway, uh, they uh, didn't have a pool. So I had to wait about 30 minutes for him to pull it. So he ended up giving me a 25% off. So I got a $150 microwave for $114. Nothing wrong with that. Now we're going over to the Tractor Supply Company. I don't know how much longer this will be here because the city is growing around me so fast. There ain't going to be much uh, land left for them to have cattle and uh, hogs and uh, chickens and things of that nature around here for many more years. Uh... I got that stupid chicken, so uh, I need to go get some chicken food. Okay, so the chicken love these motherfucking worm. Motherfucker starts going. And I just noticed my town is growing so much. They even putting in a Chick Fil A. So when your town grow enough to get a Chick Fil A. It's time to get the hell out. Because the demographics for Chick-fil-A, I think you have to have 60 or 70,000 people uh, in the area to get the Chick-fil-A. When I moved to this town, this town had about 8,000 people. And now it's around 80,000 people. It's pretty much 10 times in the last 10 years. I've been here 10 years. So, I'm thinking it's time to... I want to move to my farm, but it's, it's still pretty far to my farm to be able to commute every day. Um, just gotta see how things go. But I think two years from now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely make the move. I got some plans for two years from now, so we'll see how it go. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I may cook up some uh, shrimp and grits tonight. Kind of thinking that sounds pretty damn good. I got the stuff to make it. Most everything I need. I want to try some new uh, spices and stuff anyway. That company sent me last week. So. I think we will uh gotta get this microwave installed let me go make some music today that's kind of thinking about that too uh i don't know lots to do today but i may put up a video later with the cooking the shrimp and grid i may not i don't know if i'm gonna do that for sure you motherfuckers have a good day